Hey math learners, it's Mr. Marks here, your friendly neighborhood math teacher. Remember, it's not just about getting the right answers, it's about learning and growing along the way. Today, we're embarking on a colorful journey into the world of multiplying binomials using something called the area model. Now with the area model, we'll be using color blocks to multiply binomials, and we're gonna witness patterns emerge right before our very eyes. Now as we observe, don't worry if you don't know what you're looking at at first. The most important part is to challenge yourself to think outside the box and explore. Now take a look at this anime GIF that I created. It shows the multiplication of two binomials, x plus 3 and x plus 4, all using the area model. Do you notice the colored blocks? They're key to understanding the process. Now as you watch it, I encourage you to take note of what you notice and what you wonder about the animated GIF, including specifics about its parts and pieces. Now as we watch, let's consider a few questions together. Now feel free to pause, rewind if you need to, just be sure to take your time and explore. What patterns or structures do you see in the arrangement of the colored blocks? How do these blocks relate to the math itself? What do the green blocks represent in the area model? What do the blue blocks represent? What do the yellow blocks represent? How do these blocks interact to create the final result? Now as you observe, I encourage you to watch this animation multiple times. Note your observations and share them in the comments. Each new viewing can reveal new insights and reading what others have noticed is a great way to learn from different perspectives. Are you curious to know more about the step-by-step -step process? Well then stay tuned for an upcoming video where I'll break it all down for you. In the meantime, why not try multiplying binomials yourself using the area model and your observations? Hey, if you do try it yourself, be sure to share your work in the comments. Hey, props to you for taking some time out of your day to do some math with me. I hope you followed along and if you made mistakes, that's all good. Remember that every mistake is a step towards learning something new. This is Mr. Mark signing off. I'll catch you next time with another math problem. What did you think? Did you approach this problem differently? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this problem, show your support by liking and sharing this video. And don't forget to follow my page to stay up to date on more math related content. Until next time.